The entryway is pretty small. I barely, there's barely much room for me to fit. I can't even. <laughs> Very small. Hey lovely people, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna go straight into the video. And right now I'm at Walmart. I'm going to print out some pictures to place in my gallery wall. And as you can see, I'm at the Walmart photo station. If you haven't used it before, they have these cords connected to the computers that you can connect to your cell phone and it will pull out any pictures that you have on there so that you can print. I've used this method many times to print out even professional pictures and I use the right, map so format. Got my Walmart pictures and of course I got my frame and um, yeah so I'm gonna turn this around and open this up and take out my picture obviously guys we are in quarantine so I would advise you to stay home especially during these times unless you shop at walmart to do your groceries it might be a good option for you but if anything you can have your prints sent to you via mail walmart does allow you to do your printouts and pick out the sizes you want online all of this can be done online i've done both ways both in the store and online and both have great results and most importantly you're saving quite a bit of money versus to going to a professional tape because although i do want some tape to hold the picture down I do want the flexibility that if I choose to switch out the pictures in the future, I'm not tearing the back of this. And painter's tape is a little bit more gentle and not where, or, you know, with tear marks from removing the tape. It's pretty easy to remove painter's tape because it's not meant to have like a, a strong hold. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some pieces on here. Now, of course, you can use whatever tape you want to use. I just chose painter's tape for the reason I just said, is so that I have flexibility to change out the pictures, you know. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on each corner. So it can hold it in place. I wanted to stop real quick to say thank you so much guys we have reached 2,000 subscribers yay shout out to everyone who subscribed and if you haven't subscribed you should even definitely do that this wasn't so curled up I still would suggest putting a little bit of tape even if it's flat just to avoid the picture from sliding from side to side or once the picture is pinned up or the picture frame is hung up you don't have your picture sliding down which has happened to me before so to avoid that and just making sure it stays in place we have the tape there as you remember if you want to skip over the details you can just go straight to timestamp 803 to see the final look of the gallery wall and for the entry makeover full makeover you can just go straight to timestamp 903 so now that that's done we're gonna put them up on the wall and let's go I already marked where the holes needed to go so yeah I'm just gonna go to the marked spot and I don't know where my husband put the hammer, so I'm just using the back of a screwdriver. And look like it's there snug. All right, it look like it's snug enough for us to put our picture. Ugh. And you'll see the back, you have the little hooks right there. So you have some wiggle room for how you can hang it up. I would definitely use stronger screws, guys. That screw is very thin and it keeps sliding into raw. So, yeah. 
but it's a then. Now it's time to add a little something something in this area right here. And I got this little bench here from Ikea on clearance. It was about $15 or so. You have a hook to hook it to the back. Hook that to the back and screw it onto the wall just to make sure it's stable, but I'm not screwing it because there's no need for me to do that. You can sit on it. Or you could just use it for decoration, which is what I'm going to use it for. So I got this pillow. I made this pillow myself. And if you don't know how I made this pillow, if you want to see how I made this pillow, it's pretty much the same way how I made the pillows in my, in my balcony renovation video. So if you haven't seen my balcony renovation video, you should definitely go check that out because I show you how I DIY some old pillows and reuse them. And yeah, I got this cute little pillow from Ikea as well. I thought it was cute, so place that there. Just got a little something. So if somebody wanted to sit down, technically you can hold it and sit on it or whatever. We have options. And of course you need a little greenery. I got this pot. I got this pot from Wayfair. I don't remember how much I got it for, but yeah, I kind of regret getting this because it was really small. It doesn't have a drainage hole. And yeah, so pretty much I don't use it for plants because not many pots can fit in there. And this area right here is not great with lighting. So I don't, not many, not many plants could survive here other than maybe a ZZ or something like that. So I'm just going to put a full plant here. I'm just going to add that to the side just to give it a look. And I got these from Target. Just something cute. I got them on clearance. And I'm just going to put that in there. Just to give it a little something something. Alright guys, here's the final look. It's so pretty. It's in simple. So look. Yeah, you got the bench with the little plant. Nothing fancy. I love how the gallery wall turned out. It's simple. It's my style. <laughs> I definitely had to bring this wall to code and it's officially to code. And anyone who's familiar with my DIYs and my projects, I always say I need to bring this space to code or bring this item to code to my liking. And this is definitely my liking right now yeah so i like how it looks like so yeah on to the other part of the entryway all right guys when you walk into the door immediately on your left you will find this simple very simple and cute entryway shelf that i placed here over to my left hand side well, to my right hand side, sorry. I have like two little picture frames. One of when we first got the keys to our condo when we closed on the house, we kind of framed it because obviously we didn't use the same key, we changed the locks. And then we got a, another picture frame of us um, the day we closed on the house, which was an amazing day. But yeah, so. You'll see it as soon as you walk in on the right hand side and then on the left hand side. You also find my little gallery wall right here in the middle. It's still part of the entryway. It's just that, um, yeah, I didn't want it too close to the door, but this is perfect because it gives me a space to drop my keys or if my husband want to drop anything like his wallet or whatever, he has that there. But also I'm, I'm able to add some decorative items like a little plant it's a fake plant unfortunately plants don't live in this spot it always dies because it doesn't get enough lighting 
so yeah the door is currently open that's why it looks so bright in that spot but yeah i have to keep a fake plant there so wherever there's a fake plant just know real plants have a hard time surviving there and trust me i've killed a few in that spot and i got my candle i got another fake plant that i've gotten from where did i get that from ikea and I have links in the description for similar items to these if you don't have a store near you to do the same look on amazon i was able to locate a mirror similar to that one pretty much almost exactly the same and it comes in different colors and the shelf you can get them in different places you can get at ikea but yeah if you want something similar to that, I have that on Amazon for people who don't have Ikea near them because Ikea is not a store that you can frequently find in your area. So I have links in the description box for similar items that's going to give you the same about the same look of what I got here. And as you can see, guys, I got my gallery wall right here, still part of the entryway. I got my gallery wall, the little plant, and then of course. I have um, the TV, the living room TV in my, uh, you know, credenza there. If you have not seen my home, my living room makeover video, you should definitely check that out because then you'll see how that area was made up. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. I know it looks really big, like the entry is really deep, but really it's not that big of an entryway. So guys, tell me what you think. Comment down below. There's not much room to move here, so it's not it's not too many too much space for me to move around. So this is all I could could the angle I can pretty much give you. All right, guys. See you on the next one.